All right, and well, here comes some more fun, or uh, some of the updates that have been done to the car, and a uh, little bit of things that got to be fixed now, and yeah, um, and what happened pre to my previous amp. Um, anyway, before we get into that, this video is going to be a few minutes long, so, but anyway, before we get into that, for those of you who don't know, we'll do a quick walkthrough. And I'm sorry, it's quite windy out here, so please bear with me. I can't help the audio on the uh, windy aspect of it. But here we go. There's my alternator, 370 amps uh, from excessive amperage. And I do not own the rights to any of the companies or the music that I use in this video. Dual oversized zero gauge, oversized zero gauge OSC wiring goes underneath the this plastic cover here which underneath that plastic cover is my fuel rail which the uh, wiring runs alongside the fuel rail and it goes to the back of the car now to the back of the car this is where the biggest update comes into play here's the biggest update right here the DC audio 10k it is a 12 volt based amp which means it will only works on 12 volt Based systems, which means it has a max uh, charging ability of 15.3 uh, volts. You cannot go past 15.3 volts. Uh, my charging is 14.8 volts, so perfectly fine. Uh, and again, back on the Limitless Lithium uh, Retro Series 50 Pro, all, tri uh, all triple power and grounds go into the amp. And in my most bars, here's where I start talking about a little bit of the issues that I have is made, remade the custom bus bars, uh, made them a little too short, so yeah, the lug is overlapping a little bit. I'll fix that later on down the line. But there's the amp. And the reason why it is upside down is yesterday when I installed it, uh, I was uh, my power and grounds were were over on this side, so I was gonna. So I went to run them along the bottom of the amp to the to the right side of the amp or this side of the car. And on my second to last run of third uh, oversized zero gauge, I did not have enough cable, so I had to flip it. Which uh, I'm gonna be getting more to do to solve that problem. Is I'm gonna I'm planning on flipping the amp back over to have it mounted right side up I mean, it's not uncommon to do this with amps so it's whatever for right now but either or when i do fix that i'm gonna take the battery and relocate it over here so my run stays short because i don't care what anybody says or how they word it or how much they do know your shortest run the shortest runs to the amp is best the shorter the run is the better the power delivery the more efficient it's going to be so with that being said i always strive no matter what to have the shortest runs possible so overall Every one of these lines, if they're a foot and three inches, they're long. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. Oh, and uh, on my on the, end, uh, on the uh, Terra Amps uh, base 12K, the reason why that amp uh, is no longer is because the amp is rated for an ohm load of no lower than uh, one ohm. I ran it at half ohm. So yeah, I beat on the amp for months, which my opinion, it did a hell of a uh, good job of taking the beating for months, but it just couldn't uh, handle the beating no more, so it is what it is. Uh, the DC Audio 10K, it is rated for one ohm, so I'm not going below one ohm. Unfortunately, my subs are dual 1.5 ohm subs, so I actually took and wired them as if I was wiring um, one ohm su subs down to one ohm, so my total, my my ohm load app my ohm load to the amp is now 1.5 ohms so it's a bit of a difference there but hey i'm managing it um the amp has got a rough tune on it it's packing a punch but it's got a rough tune on it so i'm not gonna go crazy on it in the video but i'm gonna push it a little bit um re reason being i've never tuned an amp for anything other than one ohm and half an ohm so tuning an amp based off of 1.5 ohms is new to me it's, it's gonna be a little fun but it's new um can, can't show you the the the, the tuning settings on the amp because well as you clearly see there's no room here so i can't even can't get into there i'm hoping this camera stays focused or staying in focus but th that's that and now we'll get into the car 
Well, as you guys already seen in other video, I took and I relocated my, my voltage meter. That's that. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Again, I do not own the rights to any of the music I, that is played in this video. Come on, I say get the deck to turn on. Been having issues with the deck uh, recently, but getting things figured out slowly but surely. I'm just gonna do some random stuff. Come on. The perks of not putting out a video. Maybe I'll treat you guys to a full tilt for the first time since I never do full tilt on video. Damn camera roll focus, there we go. That was 40 hertz at half, half power. Jump to some 15 hertz, or 50 hertz. Half power. So let's go to some regular music, shall we? Keep the camera as steady as possible for you guys. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'll jump to another song. As you can see, I let it drag right out. So we'll go back really quick and feel the subs. And no, I don't smell them at all. Don't smell no voice coil, no nothing like that at all. And the subs are very, very, very faint warm, which means I can push them a lot harder. But with that being said and done, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, almost 14 minutes in. This video is quite longer than I want it to be, but you know what? It's whatever. Now you guys seen the update. You've seen the voltage is still solid. Everything is going good. That amp is running off of that single limitless lithium retro series pro uh, battery, which um, the RMS support power, I believe, is 9,800 watts RMS and i know it is for a fact i know for a fact that it's 16,000 watts max on a burp uh so yeah that's uh that's pretty much that oh and this can of red bull here you see them going crazy it's a, that's a full can i literally just i opened out about 30 seconds to about 30 seconds before i got here and took well i took a mouthful out of it but yeah that was a full can and it's a 20 ounce can of red bull so yeah pretty sure whoever has held the can uh, 20 ounce can of red bull knows it's got some weight to it so uh i don't know if the video the video actually picked it up or not but the deck actually shakes the whole dashboard everything shakes um and yeah so that that's pretty much that and um and keep keep in mind i'm not pushing am i'm not pushing the system full tilt at all i can absolutely go full tilt i just got a rough a rough tuning on the amp right now um I want to dial it in more so I can get it efficient. Then I'm going to push that efficiency. And uh, needless to say, till I max those subs out, I'm going to keep turning that amp up. That's it, point blank. I will not stop turning it up till those subs are maxed out. Uh, with that being said, this is uh, Kong Audio coming at you. Team Genius from upstate New York. Have a good one. Bye.